It's election day in America, and the stakes are high in several states, which, which could give us a clue to next year's presidential election and the course the country takes for the next four years. The latest ABC News Ipsos poll shows a staggering 76% of Americans believe the country is heading in the wrong direction under President Biden. And these new numbers come on the heels of a stunning New York Times poll. We told you about it yesterday. It puts President Trump ahead in Nevada, Georgia, Arizona, Michigan, and Pennsylvania. All swing states, President Biden won in 2020. Brian, if I'm Team Biden, I know they have their own internal polling, but I, I dig through the cross tabs and, and here's what I found. On the issues, Trump has an advantage on the economy, 22 points, immigration, 12 points, national security, 12 points, Israel, 11 points. Not only that, when voters were asked, is Joe Biden good or bad for America? When you add together the very good or somewhat good, you only get 7%. Right. You know what I like about this poll? It's really a comparison to what the previous four years were to this one. It's not, well, these candidates, they say one thing. I hope they do what they say. Well, no, we could just say, what was the country like? What is it like? You make the call. And as Richard Blumenthal said before this poll, the, the Democratic senator who, uh, who the, he sparred famously with the president all the time, he said, we're really alarmed by this. And he also can't figure out the, the sustainability of Donald Trump. And the big thing is also... The Hispanic vote, they're closing the gap rapidly, and the black vote from 7% mm -hmm. to 22%. The Democrats have been living off that for the longest time, and now I think the Republicans are making them earn it. Yeah, Blumenthal said quite bluntly, Harris, yeah. I am concerned. And then an anonymous Democrat went so far as to tell the Washington Post, the chatter level is at an intensity I have not seen before. Yeah, you want to be anonymous now? <laughs> I mean, really? I think pretty much you're finding some agreement. They ought to go bold and print T-shirts with that. <laughs> Look, to me, the president is having a don't quit me bro moment. And so I'm watching what governors are saying, others who are going to kind of project what's going to happen in 2024. Here's Chris Sununu from New Hampshire, the governor. Everyone walking away from Joe Biden. They're, I've been saying it for months. They're going to find another candidate. Biden's not going to be on that ballot. Uh, they're going to find somebody else by, by summer of next year to, to take that convention. But one way or the other, the Democrats are going to replace Joe Biden. What is ultimately coming, uh, a ballot without the Bidens on it. So he's been talking about that for months. Now he's got like a date that he likes to give out, like late May, early June. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he's gone. So then the big question is, how do the Republicans scoop in and take advantage of this? Yes, well, hoodie-wearing Senator John Fetterman has some ideas. Uh, let's watch. There are two, there are two additional Democrats running for Pennsylvania, excuse me, running for president right now. One, one is a congressman from Minnesota. The other one is the governor of California. <laughs> They're both running for president, but only one had the guts to announce it. And notably, Governor Newsom is going to debate Ron DeSantis with Sean Hannity as moderator on November 30th. <laughs> Federman yeah. may be right. That's going to be interesting to watch, but this is the Democrats' problem, is that the, the policies are the issue, right? They keep saying it's about age because they can't admit and they can't run on Biden and the Democrats being wrong on everything because it's in all Democrat states as well. So there you've got Gavin Newsom, who's the worst of the bunch when it comes to crime and immigration and the economy and housing costs and homelessness. Uh, it's, remar it's going to be remarkable to see their contempt for the American voter, pretending that anyone other than Biden is going to be better. They're all the same. They might be younger, but it's the same policies, mm. the same attitudes, the same. They might lie better. They might not trip, but it's going to be the same. And that's what DeSantis is going to have to bring out, that none of these people are any different. There's some moderate Democrats. Where have they been with the country on fire? And their policies have helped that fire along. And, you know, a huge word of warning to Republicans, because that red wave crashed and burned in Pennsylvania, mm -hmm. yeah. where there were 50 days of early voting Republicans were not ready for. Yep. Um, mm -hmm. Also, Nevada has now codified mail votes for all registered voters. So Ron is doing a great job with bank your vote, but Republicans, um, we need to be ready on all levels of government. And another piece of disappointing news, um, 
ABC News Ipsos came out with a poll as well, and it was about unfavorability. And Biden, shocker, 50% unfavorability, but even worse, Trump had a 60% unfavorability rating. And so to many Americans, I think they're choosing in their own mind, well, what's the lesser of two evil? We saw yesterday that 6% of voters in the six swing states would change their vote from Trump to Biden if there was a conviction. So you sort of marry the kill the beast mm. approach by so many Democrats the attorney general in this state who say, above all, all we need is a conviction, just please, something to stick, because they are hoping that that's what will turn the tide. And I have to tie up a loose end from yesterday. You know, we covered here on this couch how James Carville said essentially that the Democrat establishment told him, stop talking about it, stop telling everyone how bad Biden is, right? Ugh. And then we had David Axelrod <laughs> come out yesterday and say in a, very clearly in an interview three times how someone other than Biden should run. So we have essentially Obama's former strategist now what being cleared being cleared to come out with the emperor's right. new clothes that actually biden's naked or just ridiculous right Ooh, let's hope not so the whole point is look at the doors that are now opening look at the machinations behind the narrative that people are getting and to your point who now will assume the leadership it's just a you know different face same day where mm -hmm. america's going to hell thanks to the democrats but know who is twisting the narrative for you that you will be fed and hopefully today especially all those people in all those states will vote GOP. Yes, well, polling has been wrong a lot, which is why tonight's so important, election night here at Fox News. There will be a lot of takeaways. Hey, everyone, I'm Emily Campagno. Catch me and my co-hosts, Harris Faulkner and Kaylee McEnany on Outnumbered every weekday at 12 p.m. Eastern, or set your DVR. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page for daily highlights.